Greetings, Gem Sons. It's your boy, Templeton Page Taylor. Welcome back to another new episode of Hidden Gem. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And today I'm going to be doing a video on the Trials of Mana demo. I downloaded it and I played it, and it's the first time I've ever played this. You know, as we all know, it's a uh, Seiken Densetsu 3, uh, as it was labeled in Japan, the best game. 16-bit uh, era that never came out from Japan and now they've put it on the collection of Mana uh, series as well as made the uh, remake for PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. So let's go check this out. Okay guys here's my uh, PS4 on. No that is not a special background it's just a screenshot I took during the FF7 remake demo. But today we're going to be uh, checking out this bad boy right here, Trials of Mana. So let's get this started and enjoy it. Here we go. Or as it used to be called, Seiken Densetsu 3, which is part of the trilogy Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, and now Trials of Mana. AKA Seiken Densetsu 3, like I just said. Let's get going. I like how the rabbis have the loading screen in the corner here. That's uh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Very cute. It's a very long loading screen. Oh, here we go. Z, Spirit of Wonder. Unreal Engine, of course. I think Unreal makes everything, works with everything. Thank you for downloading the demo, as, a, as in the full version. You may choose a main character and two companions from any of the six options. You can transfer your save data from the demo into the full version. Now that's pretty cool. You can only level up to level seven in the demo. You will only be able to play the beginning of the story. I'm cool with that, so let's get to it. This game has autosave. Do not turn off the power to the PS4 system when the bug icon appears, save data may be lost. Well, the fact that you can transfer your data from this to the to the actual game is pretty freaking sweet, so why would you, right? When the world was shrouded in darkness, The goddess of Mana drew forth the sword of Mana to smite the eight and never mind. She sealed the horrors inside the eight Mana stones, bringing the realm back from the brook. Oh, this looks very pretty. Weak from rebuilding the world, the goddess changed into a tree and fell fast asleep for years. And there's the sword. How cool is that? However, the forces of evil sought to free Benevidon to gain control of the world. Alright. They started a terrible war to further their plot and de establish the kingdom. Peace was at an end. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, guys. It really is. Mana itself began to disappear from the world and the mana tree to wither.
I love cloud animations in all cartoons, anime, uh, video games. It's so amazing. I know it really is just a little thing, but it's something that I've always liked to look at. Like in my Wild Arms review, when I was playing that, I really loved how in the overworld, you just saw the cloud just kind of fade over while you were on the world map. It was pretty awesome. The overworld, I liked that a lot. Trials of Mana. Now, a quick little note. Uh, this is the first time I'll ever be pay playing Trials of Mana on the PS4. I never played the original Seiken Densetsu 3. I never Trials of Mana! I never played the original one, like I was saying, or the uh, fan translated one. So, this is my first experience at all with this one. Never even played the collection of mana that they put out either. So, let's do this uh, first time go through. I think everything is good. I've never heard it. But I've heard that the remake music is actually as good as the original. So I'm going to keep that on the subtitles. Auto progression. Okay, so we'll just keep everything the way it is. Typical gamer thing. Go through the options. Maybe change one thing. And then keep everything normal. And brightness is good. Do it on normal. Why not? <clears throat> Here we go. This is actually very exciting, guys. First experience, you know. Okay, we got characters. We got Duran. Uh, it says that Duran is a proud young soldier from Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains. Through, though he comes across as a hot-headed and ready for fight, ready for a fight. The whole kingdom acknowledges his skills with a blade. Duran has nothing but love for his kingdom and respect for the hero king, a good friend of his departed father, Loki, the Golden Knight. Uh, I like his uh, design, actually. I think they did really good. I'm glad they don't have any uh, Final Fantasy XII Vaughn abs on him. <laughs> you know, those are pretty hilarious. Right, so we got Angela. Oh, Angela's well designed. I like her uh, outfit, you know. I like that she has green eyes. I got green eyes. Gotta have love for the green eyes. So, Angela's the only daughter of the true queen of Altena, the snow covered kingdom of magicians. Because Angela. Angela's mother hardly spent any time with her as a child. The princess was prone to act out to get attention wearing gaudy clothes and playing pranks on people in the castle. Despite this, her love for her mother runs deep. Angela never got the hang of casting magic spells, a problem that plagues her to this day. Hmm. Oh, Kevin, I like his look, Mr. Wild Man here. Well, I'm not gonna keep reading everything, you know, you guys can read it for yourselves. Oh, that's all we got. Aww. We got a little Charlotte, a little chibi character. I'm a fan of chibi stuff, just so you guys know. I like chibi stuff, super cute. Um, we have Hawkeye. And we also have Reese. Now, the only thing that... <laughs> the only thing that I do know, sorry, is that I do know that uh, Angela and Kevin are in the same world. And since I like characters like Charlotte and I like Fafoy from Secret of Mana, I'm going to select Charlotte. I'm Charlotte, resident deity of Wendell. Aww, <laughs> she sounds pretty cute. Secondary character, again, is going to be Kevin, because I know that those two Kevin, are in the same realm. that's me. And, you know what, why not do Angela, you know what I mean? I stacked out as a kid, so... There we go. That's our team. Yes, I will proceed with this party. <clears throat> and here we go. Let's get into it. I know I said that once before. 
Silver and gold mana statues interact with silver mana statues to save your game. Gold mana statues will restore your HP and MP. Well, that's all I need to know, I guess. Because I'm a slow reader, you know, since I'm old. 39, crazy. But I still love playing this stuff. Here we go. Is it just me or does that look like does it look like the rabbi trying to go after the mushroom? <laughs> Are you okay? You sure? You ran up so quickly, I was afraid I'd hurt you. <laughs> Looks like you're okay, though. My wife, guys. She'd say hello, but she's off wanting to do her own thing right now. Your Eminence, may I have a word about Charlotte? <clears throat> oh, he. Manos blessings be with you. How is my granddaughter? She isn't as chipper as usual. She seems young thanks to her elfin heritage, but she's 15. She may have sensed the shift in manpower. I see. Look here, Heath. The mana statue has begun to cry. And you saw the light of the lake last night. Yes, sir. It was bright as day. I like how the voices are actually, the mouths are moving you know the in this one. Which I is really cool as we all know Secret of Mana. I believe they are just straight faced. Change in the mana power of the world. <clears throat> the light seemed to land in Astoria across the lake. Would you be willing to look into it, Heath? Of course, Your Eminence. I believe there is trouble in Jad as well. We should erect a barrier in Cascade Cavern to protect Wendell from any interlopers with bad intent. It would be the safest plan. She looks so cute right now. Right, huh? It could be dangerous. I can't let he face it alone. I gotta go after him. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okie dokie. Oh, guys, this game looks so pretty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like the way she jumps. <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, got yourself some nunchucks there. 
That's really awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Use dash to change travel speed, I need dash. I like the ring menu in this. Okay, there's the map. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I like the... Oh, wow, this is so pretty. I love how they have Salamando on there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this is really awesome, guys. I really like this a lot. I don't know if I can break anything. And I'm still feeling silly because I don't quite know how to dash. Oh. I love the animation of the power up. This castle looks so pretty. I really do like it. Even the fruit and the flowers. I feel like I'm gushing way too much. Let me, uh. candy. Ah, okay. <clears throat> the trees look pretty the garden. I don't know how to dodge. <laughs> oh, you can attack while you're in midair. That's cool. I do want to do a lot of exploring, but I don't have a lot of time to do exploring. My cameras are weird like that. Something a lot of us 90 kids used to deal with. Because I told you to. Said so as kids nowadays, and they're like, what? Yeah, go upstairs, I'm grounded. <laughs> I got all the Wi-Fi in the world and games to play. Sure, what a punishment. Nope, I had to go and read myself. Got everything taken away. Ugh, but that's boring. <laughs> Oh, she runs with her hands out. How adorable.
find you are. But I happen to be 15 years old, so I'm basically an adult. My body is just aging slower than most people do. That's all. Got it? Now tell me how to get to Astoria forever. Okay, fine! Meet me outside on the second floor balcony tonight. I know a secret that might help. Nothing left to do. Let's take a nap. Hold up. Stardust Store of the Spells All Ally Magic Effects and the Candy Restores Allies HP by 200. Okay, so guys, I'm going to kind of cut the video right here now because my other uh, camera is actually an older phone, and I've only got about 30 minutes to record some footage, so I want to record more of the battle footage and everything else, so I will be right back uh, so you guys can see more of the action, and I want to definitely get the battle with the final boss on this as well, so I'm going to cut it off now. I'll come back where i got 30 minutes of uh, playtime to go so we can see this, okay? So, see you in a little bit. some gameplay going here. I don't know what kind of weapon Charlotte has. I think it, it looks like a nunchuck, but it's kind of doesn't. Gameplay is super fun. I really love this. I love that rappel and then you can attack. That's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure what that was because of the camera angle. Sorry, guys. Gotta get that money. Got that candy. Oh yeah, the ring system is. We have um. I love the ring system. <laughs> Love that. She's so cute. Oh, I made it to level two. Level up to increase your health, HP, and stats like your strength, which increases stats. You can use training points to power characters by learning moves and abilities. Put points toward abilities from the training sections and the option menu. Now one thing I also, at least I don't know if this one's going to be the same, but I do remember reading up on the original where you could not put all your stat points in the same stat all the time. Like you can put them in maybe power one time and maybe, uh, 
Um, That's just something that heals your health, by the way. Miss, do you need help? You're looking for someone. I do remember seeing a priestly young man heading in the direction of Jad. And then go all the way up here. Alrighty, I'm gonna again cut it off and we'll come back again later. Play to the past, yes, I don't care if items are lost. Give a little bit of intro to Kevin's character. Kinda like that, I'll record a few minutes of this. Persecuted by humankind, these men were forced to live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. Only one managed to stand up against the oppression. Was it Kevin? Let's find out. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Barolia. There he and his kin waited for a chance to <laughs> oh, get revenge on the took a minute to catch up. who drove them into hiding. <laughs> well, 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 isn't his fine majesty himself? How do you do this fine, fine man? I'm guessing that king is Kevin's father, since they mentioned uh, his father being the king earlier. So I like the design, and I like how they uh, finally gave a name to uh, that mysterious uh, jester, Gormund. Kevin was the one and only son of Barolia's king. <clears throat> The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others, 
He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. like a dog. Beast man with human blood in my veins. Mm -hmm. And neither of us have a mom. Don't worry. Carl got you. And I'll protect you since your mom can't now. Interesting. That's a badass look. <laughs> I can't believe he killed his dog? What? Kevin straight up turns and goes beast mode the minute you enter battle. I think that's pretty freaking sweet. So we only slept till night time. Let's go chase that strange light.
Open the main menu with the option button. There are many things you can do in this menu, including setting items to the ring menu, equipping armor and weapons, and allocating training points to characters. Let's get stuff. Ha ha ha, you tricked me, didn't you? Let's go grab that urn first, guys. Again, I can't get over how cute Charlotte is. I love her character. Oh, it's the fairy. I know about this fairy. She's got a pretty uh, cocky attitude. kid would say. Uh, I have no other option. Oh, I suppose you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please, I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. Not so fast. Was that a Doria? What happened? Oh, we need to get going. <clears throat> Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Huh? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria.
I like how you can switch between the characters and their abilities. I just don't know if there's a way to uh, switch between Kevin's beast form and... and his regular form. Oh, out of the way, out of the way! Like them poses too, kind of JoJo-ish. You know what I'm getting at. Yeah, let's trust a 15-year-old. But then again, Kevin's no different. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty new, too. I kind of like how their stories intertwine. It's pretty cool. They're both young characters that are basically in this new world and learning everything on their own as they go through it, which is really awesome. I like that. Now that you can access Luminous Power, you can use Light Elemental Magic by putting... Training points toward abilities for the training section of the options. Here's some examples of light magic. Holy Saber imbues allies' weapons with light elemental damage. Cool. Healing Light recovers allies' HP. Of course, you need that. Holy Bolt deals light magic damage. Awesome. Leave Cascade Cavern. But it looks so pretty. I love how you can switch between them. And they glow. That's cool. I want to use the move. I wanted to kill him off with the move, but it didn't work. I was too fast. The shard that was in. So it's fun. So the options. seeing what they were talking about. And I still haven't figured out how to use the chain attack either. Oh, that's how you can use abilities. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I get it now. That's... I just want to put a point in and see what it looks like it's still up.
Well, let's leave the cave then. Oh no, wait. We did leave the cave. Oh, we gotta actually get out of the cave itself. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's some stuff going on there. Kevin's attack animation, they're so cool. Right, Kevin's got one more level to go. I just wish I knew if there was a way how to switch between his beast mode and his actual human form. Because, as you guys saw, he basically uh, just transformed and I love how he um, oh there you go it's for I figured kitten cat you know Cat guy, beast man, it work out like it's not. But then I guess, you know, cutesy. Alright, well, let's try to find our way out of this cave. I don't have a whole lot of time left. And maybe there is a way to. Uh, into his beast form, maybe it's like when you put a strength and enough points into an ability, maybe is what I'm thinking, possibly. I love the cutscene animation in this game. It's so awesome. What? What a douche! What do you think you're doing? Thanks for taking down the cavern barrier. Saved us some trouble. Now, nothing's stopping us from invading Wendell. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> Let's get going. <clears throat> Ah, oh, that was a great place to end it. I actually like that. That was really cool. This is the end of the demo. You can transfer your demo save data to the full version of the game. You can continue to play the demo as any of the main characters. Play with different party members and see how the story changes. Save your complete demo data. You can use this to continue your playthrough in the full version. Why not? I honestly feel like I might get this game later on down the line. I would definitely, definitely love to do that. This game was so fun to play. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Fifty dollars, forty-nine. Comes out April twenty-fourth, twenty twenty.
we'll probably all still be inside anyways, so why not, right? Catch you later, guys. And there you have it. That's the Trials of Mana demo in a nutshell. Honestly, I really liked it for being a first-time experience. You know, I know a lot of people played the original and they played the emulation versions of them all over the place. For me, this is a first-time experience. So I wanted to share something with you guys that I've never done before. And I really had fun with the game. I really did. I liked the characters that I chose. I like how... Charlotte is a little girl who's actually 15 years old, <clears throat> but you can still kind of tell that it's an older actress, voice actress, trying to sound like a little kid. But other than that little gripe, you know, I actually enjoyed her character, the little flails. I thought, honestly, they were nunchucks for a minute. But again, first time experience, and I saw that uh, they were flails, so that's pretty cool. And then I like how Kevin is that, like, beast master type of character, and how he's half beast, half human, and he has kind of broken English in a way, but uh, he still has a big understanding of what's going on. And his story was pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the way the demo works, because he can't keep all the back stuff that you get in his uh, little scenario, but, you know, it's still really cool to experience what he went through. <clears throat> and uh, like I said uh, before, you know, I knew that those two had the same area story arc in a way and same bad guy so i like playing those two and i like how they share uh a storyline in a way um one thing i also think is pretty cool <laughs> is the fact that you can actually save all your stuff from the demo and play it on the original uh you know transfer it onto the actual game which is pretty neat will i be doing that uh probably not <laughs> Uh, you know, got to save up the money and all that fun stuff. You know, it's something else is coming up that I'm thinking about playing. But I really did enjoy this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And this will be the end of today's video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. And as always, Gemstones, stay shiny for me.